Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, link an Excel file or an Excel table and into PowerPoint. So when you make changes within your Excel table, it will ref reflect automatically in PowerPoint. So for example, let's say I had this table here. I just copied uh, this amount, this uh, these range of cells here, and you can see that it is copied over here. Now if I want to go ahead and make changes in here, let's say uh, for March for item 5 instead of 13, that became uh, 200. You'll notice that once that got changed here, if I go over into PowerPoint, it also got changed here, so it becomes dynamic. Now one thing to note is uh, this is a link to that Excel file, so it's kind of like a link in your own hard drive or your own PC's directory structure. Now if this is something where it's on a shared drive, uh, you may still be able to, to, to do this, but once you send this file to somebody else, it, that link will essentially be broken, but it will use the latest data of that file when it was saved. So this is helpful like when you are putting together data in Excel and you're doing this often maybe every day or every week and you don't want to go back and forth and copying and pasting the data. You just want to have update it in Excel and have it show up automatically in PowerPoint when you open it up. Uh, this is one way to do it. So I'll show you how to do it. I'll actually show you two examples of how to do it and uh, let's get into it. Let me go ahead and delete this first. So there's one example I want to show first is uh, how to insert the Excel file just when you're in PowerPoint itself. So let's say for example I'm in PowerPoint here I just go and insert and I want to insert an object. So I want to click on insert object I want to create it from the file and I need to go ahead and browse for my file. So let me go ahead and browse for it. So my file is here it's called link-table so I'm going to go ahead and click on it click OK and the important thing here is to select that checkbox. You want to link it. So what it does is it inserts a picture of the file content in the presentation. So it's basically a shortcut to the file and whenever you update the file it will also when you update the Excel file it will also update uh, the picture view here. So one thing to note is it's going to base it on the active tab that was saved. So if I click OK you can see here that this is part of the, the um, uh, the document, the Excel file, uh, this is that first sheet. If I go over here into this file and this is the active sheet, if I click on sheet 2 and click on save, I'll, be, I'll press control S to save and let's pretend that I, I close this file. Um, I'll go ahead and close it and then I'll reopen it. You'll notice that these, these numbers between in the numbers of 10 to 20, they're going to disappear and they're, they're going to show up uh, this number, the numbers that are in the 900. So if I close this file uh, let me go ahead and close it and click save. And if I try to reopen it, let me go ahead and reopen it. Let me go ahead and find it. Let me go ahead and reopen that. And it's going to ask me to update the links. If it updates, you'll notice that now it has brought in those 900 numbers. In my instance, it only brought in a subset of that table. If I double click it, it will bring up the Excel file that it was worked on. And I can go ahead and close that. And if I go back into the slide, let me see if it shows it again. Let me go ahead and uh, update the link. Let me go ahead. and There's another way to update the link instead of closing the, the PowerPoint. You can go under File and then go under here where it says Edit Links to File and go ahead and choose Update Now. You click it, choose it and click Update Now. Click Close and I'm going to go back into the Home and now I've got the full set of, of, of uh, the, the table here. So that's kind of a strange thing about uh, how this uh, this particular link uh, works. Uh, for some reason, it only it only took part of it. But you'll find that if you after you update the link and uh, refresh it, um, it might bring back the whole table. So in my instance, let's say that for example, uh, this part is 969. Let me go ahead and change that data. Let me go back into the Excel. Let me go ahead and open that file. Go ahead and open that file. If I go ahead and change it back to this particular uh, sheet, this is the active sheet now, and click Control, press Control S to save that. And if I go back into PowerPoint, you'll notice that it hasn't been updated because it hasn't been saved or closed. I can just go under the File tab here, go under Edit Links, click on my link here. Uh, it says automatic, but it probably is automatic when you open and close the file. I'll go ahead and uh, click close. Uh, go ahead and click Update now. Click Close. And now you notice when I go back in the home, it will bring it back up. And you notice that it only brought up a subset of it. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, double click it to open it, bring it back, and maybe I'll have to update it again. So this is one of one of the one of the I, I, I don't know if it's a bug, but this is one of the things in PowerPoint, the linking to the Excel that you might have to work with. I'll go ahead and click update now, 
and I should get my full table now when I go back. See, now the full table is back. So that's one one way to do it. That's just basically going into PowerPoint itself and linking it. So in our second example, let's say we just have one portion of a table that we always wanted to get updated in PowerPoint. Let's go back into Excel. And we have this one sheet here. And maybe we're doing this weekly, and these are the folks that have uh, weekly sales on these particular items. We can just go ahead and select that portion, or maybe we just want uh, Bob. So we can select Bob's and press Control C to copy. And we'll go back into PowerPoint and go under Paste and Paste Special. And what we want to do is we want to paste a link. And we want to paste the link to the Excel worksheet object. Once we click OK, that particular portion of the worksheet is just the one that gets updated for us. So what, what I can do is, same thing, I can just go back in here. Let's go ahead and make a change. Maybe Bob sold 200 of item 5. We can go back into PowerPoint. You can see that that has been updated. So that gives a little bit more dynamic update uh, than the previous item where we're updating uh, the whole uh, worksheet, uh, or the tab from the uh, worksheet. Uh, so this kind of gives us a little bit better view. Uh, what I can also do is double click this and you can notice that it opens it up in Excel and maybe I didn't like just having Bob. I can do the whole uh, team here A1 to D6 which was uh, Bob to Rashad. Can press Control C to copy. Let me go back into PowerPoint. Maybe I don't want that. I delete that and then I go under Paste Special and then go ahead and do a paste link and click OK and it's going to uh, put that whole range. And, and this is like an object. This is like almost like a um, image object, but a little more dynamic. You can resize it. You can probably, you can notice once I click on it, you have these drawing tools. You can, ref you can format it a little bit uh, with the shape. You can do some fill. You can do some uh, gradient. Uh, probably don't want, want to get too uh, fancy in this. You can give it an outline. Uh, give it weights on it, you know. But again, you probably don't want to get too fancy. You probably want just to stay with what the, the uh, formatting is already done within your Excel table. But this is a way that you can link up an Excel table uh, within your worksheets. The first one is you can link the whole uh, tab or the worksheet, or you can link a table or portion of your worksheet. That's the second example which I have right here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.